On the PGA Tour, the level of competition has become so tight with such small differences between distance and accuracy among top players. To remain on top, players rely on their tour teams to prepare and tweak all aspects of their game to get that extra edge. At a U.S. Open, these pit crews come from around the world to ensure that the player is tuned to the ultimate performance level. Golf Life went to the 2008 U.S. Open to take you behind the ropes and provide a glimpse of the preparation that goes into getting PGA pros ready for the grueling four days of competition that is a major championship. Most of the players here in the top 50 or 60 in the world, at least those players have got their equipment right to the point they want. You know, you want to make sure that, that everything's taken care of so you can go and just play golf and not think about anything else. We feel like we're a, we're a component of the piece of the puzzle. Okay, because I notice this driver is one degree more flatter than his gamer driver right yeah, now. Yeah, perfect. So perfect. let's go ahead and bend that up right. Even the top player in the game has a team always with him, including who he practices with and how he handles every aspect of preparation. With crowds and fans wanting to be a part of the player's every move, keeping the preparation on focus with his team is even more important. At a U.S. Open, throngs of people love to watch the practice rounds and every move the player and his team make. The player has so much at their disposal to get anything that they need. Nowadays, there's tons of products, there's tons of help from all the OEMs, there's a million reps out here. Whereas when I was playing, that was the case, but just not quite as magnified as it is now. Anything you need is right here. If you want to switch equipment, you can have the trailer to switch equipment. Your swing coach is here, he can you know, work uh, here to tweak something out that very little last. Or if you want to work with your sports psych and just make sure you're thinking confidently. You know, it's just, you got to have the whole team of, uh, of players in, in play, and uh, you, know, you just don't want to get uh, left behind. And every little advantage you can get is where you want to be. These guys really work hard in here, and um, I mean, like today, you know, I came in, I said, hey, guys, I, you know, can you check out my stuff, and this is what I'm looking for, and they get right on it for you. I mean, these guys just make us look that much better. You know, a lot of times you have to go out with the guys on the golf course because you kind of, I mean, you hear guys talk about their range swing and then their, their, their gamer swing, and they sit out here and hit balls and they groove something over a while, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's what it's going to be when they get out on the golf course and they're making one swing at a time. You know, playing the game professionally also makes it easier working with these guys because sometimes they'll have an equipment problem or they're trying to hit a shot or they're wanting to do something different that they can't quite put into words, but yet having a playing mindset and understand a lot of times you can kind of think them through it and get out it, help them get out what they're trying to say when they couldn't necessarily put their finger on it. My caddy and I do do the bulk of the golf course work and, and uh, uh, you know, we're just looking at, at places where we know pins are going to be and and uh, practicing around those areas. The players use the, the trailers to fine tune their equipment. They use them to fit their game around what can best make, make them the best. So they come in every week and either alter their equipment, adjust it, make new equipment, or repair the equipment they've got. It's kind of like a kid in a candy store. And we provide that for them. They can come every week and keep trying to find something just a little bit better. They generally have an idea of what they want, but the trailers and the technicians in here and the technology we offer really gives them that added, that added benefit that maybe the average consumer doesn't have when he just goes into a store and has to buy golf clubs off the rack. You know, there's some guys who really don't tinker at all. And then there's other guys who are constantly looking for that slight edge, just getting a little bit better. And those are the guys that we tend to work with more because they're more receptive to trying to better themselves, their games and whatever, and not just rely on what they've been using for however long they've been using it. For you as an example, he's pretty low maintenance, if you will, but he knows how to identify if there's something missing in this game. So he's not afraid to try it, but once he's set with equipment, yeah. you're pretty yeah, much pretty set. Much set.